Alright guys, it's gonna be episode 10. We're gonna jump right in here and do some solo questing. I'm here with P Shooter. What up? We still haven't done the first quest. So, we're gonna do it. Do it, it's like, it's probably gonna be Cakewalk because we're such a high level. Like, you're probably supposed to do this quest, like, first. One of the first things. It's, it, it's super gravy right now. I ain't gotta do no fighting. I hear familiar footfalls. Come closer, Vestige. Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. First this is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. Of a sort, I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Into my mind. That's really creepy. Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part of the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The moth priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. Oh boy, they're doing one of those things where that thing falls from the sky. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. A dark the chains anchor. and shit. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality. But each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. Oh, the oh, Five Companions know. were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to up. accept their leader oh, yeah. as one of the Dragonborn. Nice. The Dragonborn are mortals broadcasting? destined for greatness. Yeah with the blood of the dragons in their veins. Well, uh, not they broken. Broken. They're only a true dragonborn. He shooter A6 like just leveled up. Yeah, that's great. The <laughs> Let the world ring the bells. Just from city to city. Everyone ring the bells of the know. balls, whatever. <laughs> ring the balls of the bells. Easy peasy weapon, easy. Oh, the the prophecies story. of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. I only know that you are. The five companions were depend. The Dragonborn are mortals destined for great. Baron Aquilarius, oh, the son of Colobian fucking, Duke, fucking who led fuck, a rebellion fuck, fuck. against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Baron was not truly a Dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. 
You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met uh, the five okay. companions yourself. How many people are on the ark? Sweet. I don't know. I'm in the middle of a quest. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abnathan, a powerful sorcerer and grand chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, like ninja. Sai Sahan. He even got like a ninja sword. The Imperial, right. the Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, like who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the traitor, the king of worms, a powerful necromancer, and your execution. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. Many Marco convinced Baron that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragonfires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Veren as one of the dragonborn. By tradition, only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule as the one true emperor by divine right. Baron conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. Who would you like to know more about? You've already met Lyris. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north, and it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Baron chose her for her strength and her loyalty to be his personal bodyguard. Sai Sahan came from a long line of Red Guard Swordmaster nobles. He was the leader of the Dragon Guard, the security detail of Varen and the Elder Council. While Lyris was Varen's bodyguard, Sai was charged with protecting the entire group. The Thans are one of the most influential families in Cyrodiil. Abner, their patriarch, is the leader of the Elder Council, a powerful battle mage and a shrewd politician. With his council, Varen was able to seize the Imperial throne years before. Manamarco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Baron to perform the ritual you are about to witness. Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. Fire Brazier. Manimarco, you certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Manimarco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself dragonborn. You will pay for your sacrilege to veil between Tamriel and Oblivion. Tears and splits of thunder. What's happening? The sky's opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Give me! Have mercy on our souls! 
ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion, allowing Menemarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the Dark Anchors and initiate the Ten Mill. Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nairn. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamria would be protected from the Daedra. Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. Varen was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Baal. Thaun remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Tribio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Menemarko and his worm cult. When I discovered the truth about the Five Companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamaka got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamaka feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierced the tall veil and seemed to draw near to the depths of comfort. These terrible engines of destruction were appearing all throughout Tamriel. So it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. But now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the Harborage? As you say. Well, that was pretty darn interesting. Well, pretty darn interesting. Some deep story. Mm -hmm. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. And there is so much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. Minamarko's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. Nice. What? An actual... 
actual real achievement? That's what's up. So now we know why those dark anchors come out. Oh, I remember this now. What are you supposed to do? You gotta line the colors up right. How do you get the ones up top? I'm in shop right here. Are you supposed to make them the color of what it is up there? Yeah. up right now. Charred Ridge. You sent me there. Or a charred Ridge. Here. It's good to see you again. I do not like being here alone. You're a little like Aeanon. He was always gentle and kind with me. Now to find him. I'll search the tombs to the southeast. Would you search to the west? Yeah, I guess so. I can do that for you, bitch. Ooh. There's a lot of tombs.
was close one. Okay, search the Thames. Oh. I'm letting this fucking guy do all the goddamn work. I don't know, too good. Common filth. You dare to disturb my slumber? Bala? Bala. Ah, yes, the Ashlander. You remember her, don't you, dear? My performance must have been quite convincing. There's no challenge in terrorizing servants. I wanted to crush someone's dreams. I convinced her I was desperately in love. I said I would leave my wife. It's a shame, though, that I died. Please, tell her you found me. Say that I'm still passionate for her. Godina and I will have a delightful time watching her heart shatter. Oh, that's fucked up, man. Holy oh, shit. What? This quest I'm on. Quieting a heart. Take that skeleton bitches. Take a seat home. Did you find him? Where is he? What did he say? I'm shaking. I miss him so much. No. I don't believe it. You must have found the wrong tomb. No. I can't believe that. I won't. Why? My Aeon wouldn't know. So temperamental. Ah! This like took so much to it. I'm thieving again. In this mission, I am. <laughs> Things will go badly for you. Droppings on your shiny clothes. 
Yes, that's it. An incessant cawing. We'll keep you awake all through the night. <laughs> Do not cross Black Feather Court, intruder. There are two tolls you can pay. The toll of flesh or the toll of silver. Choose. The toll of silver. Search the dark caves and the farthest corners of the woods. Collect trinkets of shiny silver left by those who fell to the wolves. Glitter and glister. Such trinkets should please us with their luster. The toll of flesh permits you to fight our enemies. The wretched bats of this wood. Each time you kill a bat, we'll descend to feast upon the bat's tender bits. Speak then, featherless one. Then we shall feast on our foes. When you have killed Eight bats. Okay. There you are. What did you find out? Gotta do that. I just save these people's asses. Chilling. Look at this place. It was deliberately set Mr. on Asses. fire. Interesting. I'm sitting How here talking to this dude, here? and these people came and running up in here with all these mentioned. enemies trailing them. They were almost dead. I started dropping healing. I stabilized the portal, but it's not going to stay that way. I need to attend to it. Would you go to the court my father mentioned? Maybe someone there knows of his fate. Staff. Vince gave me one also, but I don't know what to do with it. I might have stored it. Um. Oh shit. The bitch is all fucking squatted up. What? What? She like had no armor on, and all of a sudden, like, this is Dopest tit balls. Dopest tit balls. Oh, I'm not even 
That'd be a bear. Holy shit. Oh, man. This bear is strong as shit. Oh, God. Those things are hard as hell, holy hard shit. Hell. Totally just died. That was pretty fucking intense. something featherless ah yes the dark elf he was a diligent student he's somewhat crass talented to be sure but there was something off-putting about him my suspicions were confirmed when he locked crow mother in the tower of course she got her way i'm damn surprised if you didn't ever do this mission crow mother is lonely she doesn't get many visitors, and we, her children, aren't the best company. Hard to believe, but true. We agreed that if we'd teach Mulantaril the secrets of magic, he would return to her side. Yes! The bargain's power brought him to her side and locked him in the tower. It's just as well, really. You want to talk to them? Mulantaril left his tower key in a ruined structure nearby. 
It's in a cursed chest with a fiery guardian. Good. Get a little fiery guardian. Flame astronaut was hard. Tough, tough like a tiger.
not getting a lot of lock picks here. Intruder, the fuck I am here to take him away from me. Oh, that's good. We bargained in Ooh. good faith. All fair and square. You can't have him. Why recoil so? Am I truly so hideous? Fuck yeah, bitch. Holy as shit. As did years ago. Yes, Rolantariel is here. We made a bargain. But he thought to renege by binding me in this tower. He still fights me. He doesn't want to stay. Make him see reason. Make him honor our agreement. Do you now? Very well, intruder. Tell me. No! I won't let you hurt him. I'll protect him. Brolanteril, my love. <laughs> they come for us. Oh, you about to get it, Mama? Oh, where'd she go? Did you just say you're about to get it, Mama? Man, this is this old creepy bitch. I was gonna kill her. But... She took off. The dope-ass helmet. I want it. What the hell? What tarnation? Come to join me in exile, featherless one? For the change of pace. Court gets so noisy. Here, I'm the only one squawking. And I get the choice bits from the fish that wash up on the shore. As close to fish as you can get in this place. Memories of fish, I guess. Remember that nothing here is real. I guess that means you're talking to yourself, featherless one. <laughs> you're in oblivion. <laughs> nothing is ever quite what it seems, and you shouldn't let your eyes betray you. If they do, pluck them out and give them to me. Eyes are so delicious. I'll keep my eyes, thank you, little birdie. Five scraps or raw feet. Yep, both. What about rough paper? Yep. Do you need a buck plug? <laughs> I'm cool on butt plugs. Collection is still pretty tight. <laughs> Just 
came up on another dude getting his ass kicked and I tried to save him but he died. I almost died. That was a little bit epic. Dicks. Dicks. Curly. Curly. So how do you like Elder Scrolls? It's pretty good. I like it a lot. I bought it when it was new it. and it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I spent almost two hundred dollars on that shit. Oh yeah. I bought the the fucking super deluxe edition. You know how they have three three fucking different kinds. Well. Yep. Uh, yep. You what did you learn? But I heard that you updated it and made the gameplay like ten times better. Oh, I don't know, I just just now started playing, so I don't know what it used to be like. What an oblivion it was uh What was my father doing in this place? A lot of loading times. You'd like go so far and then everything would have to fucking load while you're being attacked by something and shit. It just didn't work out well. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to run from something. Get out of its little fucking uh, area. Oh yeah, you kill these bats. Oh, we're at 1 hour 20 minutes. Yeah, we'll call that for episode 10. Thanks for joining us. You guys want to say bye? Bye. Later.